All right, testing, testing, whoa. Testing, there we go. Oh, I think my roadcaster decided to start working again. <laughs> I sound like I'm echoing, which is kind of weird. I uh, hope it's working fine, but it looks like I can be heard. I am just going to do a quick little check to make sure that this is working like it's supposed to. Yep, it's working. All righty, what is good, guys? I am here. What's up? T minus five minutes until Hogwarts Legacies becomes available. I got the countdown clock going on the other side. Man, I do sound like I'm echoing still. Is it bad, guys? Is is the, is, is my audio like sound like it is a really bad echo? I wonder if that fixed it. I don't know. Still a little bit. I wonder why it's doing it out of both sides. It's probably. I don't know. They changed a lot of settings in the board in my board, so I don't know what's going on with it, but it's doing its thing. Hold on, let me see if I can just let me see if I switch this and return. And use this one instead. Yeah, this one's a little bit better. This one's got less echo in it. Definitely much less. I I, I can hear it in my I can hear it in my in my ear that is a significantly less echo. So. Sounds like I'm normally talking, which is great. All righty, T minus four minutes. I know it's a late stream. <laughs> it's almost 11 o'clock at night. So to anybody watching, I truly appreciate it. <laughs> you know, anybody decided to come up and watch me play this for a little while, I definitely appreciate you. It's one of these moments where I wish I had a, a work from home <laughs> gig where I could stream this during the day when people can actually watch it as opposed to late at night when everything else because either you're either you're playing this or you're either going to bed so once again thank thank you whoever is up watching the stream uh, let's go over here to the live broadcast real quick oh you can't see the time <laughs> my face is blocking the countdown clock it is T minus three minutes and 10 seconds. Three minutes and 10 seconds until the game unlocks itself. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been so ready for this for a while. Where's my wand at? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this right. We gotta, we gotta do this right. For those, this is, um, this one's Dumbledore's wand from Fantastic Beasts. So his the uh, the the OG Dumbledore wand before he before he got the Elder Wand. So that's what this one is. I do have uh, other ones. I have Harry's, Voldemort's, the Elder Wand, um, and Snape's. But this was my favorite. I, I'm a fan of the longer wand. So I don't know. Uh, I I did the WB account thing, and they like they picked out my wand and my house and all this stuff. Um, I hope I get to customize my wand in the game because I don't know how much I'm going to like the one that they're going to give me. I got to look at it first. I have no idea how that whole thing works. The house I'm perfectly fine with. Um, the Patronus I'm fine with, even though Patronus really doesn't matter or it does it. They might have lied to everybody and said, oh, yeah, your Patronus doesn't matter. And then next thing you know, it does. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, my house I'm fine with. Um, spoiler alert, I'm, I'm going to be in Ravenclaw. <laughs> I was going to choose Slytherin because, come on now, I want to be I want to be a Death Eater, I want to be a Dark Wizard. So it's just like, hey, you need to be in Slytherin. But unfortunately, they had the audacity to show what all the houses look like in terms of what you're like. What does your dorm look like? And I I just love the bouginess of, of Ravenclaw. Like I I saw the Ravenclaw house, I'm like, that suits me. That sounds like it. Like if you take put me down on tour, it's like okay, you can live in this dormitory. I'm like okay, this was nice. You can live in this one. You know, Slytherin's live in the dungeon. I'm like, okay, it's a little gloomy and cool down here. Like, look nice. And then here's Hufflepuff. And then here's Ravenclaw. I saw Ravenclaws. I'm like, man, this is immaculate. Like, I'm just going to have to be a dark wizard, but a Ravenclaw. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't do this with Slytherin. T minus one minute. T minus one minute. We have 60 seconds until this countdown clock hits zero. And then hopefully there's not a random day one. 20 gig patch that they decide to throw out when the clock, when the clock at zero. Oh, I can't wait. 
that would suck because it's like zero and then 20 gigabyte update <laughs> it's like well guys we'll be waiting another 20 30 minutes <laughs> while this thing downloads speaker coming in through the mic which the audio is already coming through here out on the other side all right ten nine eight seven six five four three two one zero and the game has launched let's go it's time as i lose signal <laughs> it's like, oh god, a lost signal. It's like, no! Oh, I was about to start crying. It's just like, yep, no. Menu reader. Off. Press L2 button to toggle. Oh, the accept ability sound? I don't want that. Enable this to change spell aiming from the whole time. What the? I don't know. Just toggle aim mode. I don't know what that means. Toggle spell cast mode. Certain spells can use a toggle mode scheme. I'm just gonna turn all, leave all the stuff off. Cause uh, yeah, all this stuff looks like, you know, extra little settings and things that I don't know what they do. So I'm just gonna leave that off. Okay, here we go. Um, then pick your mode. High fidelity rendering mode, favors resolution and graphical uh, performance, higher frame rate, favorite performance. Balanced. Rendering mode aims for a balance between resolution graphics, only available on supported alpha devices, and HMO. An ultra high frame rate mode favoring maximum performance, only available on supported alpha devices. Hmm. Let's go with performance. Yeah, let's go with performance. course the class in user agreement nobody reads yes i offer my firstborn child as tribute claim your rewards unable to connect to don't so you try connection is it claim your rewards link your harry potter fan club and wb account to customize your game and all that other fun stuff. I already did that stuff, so um, hopefully it connects. <laughs> Which it'll be it'll be our luck that it just crashes. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. The game's launching in waves, and it's only on the consoles right now. Well, basically Xbox and PlayStation. Hey, Cammy, what's good? I'm trying to make sure that I stay awake because I just came back from the gym. I literally raced back from the gym to make sure I could be here when the game actually launched. And now I'm waiting for the Warner Brothers servers to connect to the game and be like, hey, here's your stuff that you did. Because I want my bougie robe. I guess just skip the sign and I ain't skipping that. Put all that hard work into this. I'm excited right now. There's a difference. You know, you instantly, like, wake up and become alive when you get excited, and then the second you calm down, you just knock out. And then also, I just came back from the gym as well, so I have a little bit of energy from lifting, so. Don't let my appearance fool you, because I am far from <laughs> not tired, especially cons considering the fact I'm only running around about three hours of sleep. Yay! Congratulations, well done, you've linked your Harry Potter account. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Wand unicorn hair, act uh, 10 and inches your game experience will be customized okay cool so got that stuff hogwarts legacy squillies felices claim online reward that's for the game just the dark art stuff all this stuff like I said, give me all the give me all the cookies tweak this stuff later. I feel like this is the perfect setting. <laughs> 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 
We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on per the 1st of September. Learning supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic to those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elzar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you to London Castle for the start of the term. Oh, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Ah, create a character. Okay, this is gonna be. <laughs> I'm going to try to not make this be a long lasting thing. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Okay, this, yep, this is gonna be a minute. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the preset. Let's see if we can change something. Let's go here. I wish they would have let me do this in preliminary stuff. That would have probably made this a little bit quicker. I was like, hey, create your character. They would have did that out of been like, oh, okay, I can actually roll with this, but this is kind of. Uh, uh, I'm literally gonna waste an hour of gameplay just creating my character. <laughs> Um, I think I'm okay with that head. Uh, I don't know about the glasses. Yeah, no, let's, let's, let's lose glasses. Okay, that's gonna be a little too dark. But they got really dark complexions, and I'm cool with that. We'll stick to that. Alright, the hairstyle. Styles. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> Look at them curls. Oh man, this is gonna be hilarious. Uh, this will take a while. <laughs> you catch me dripping. This hair looks phenomenal. I might just stick with this one. I just see if I can change the color. Oh wow, look at all these colors. They're real ignorant for that though. Like for just giving me a slider. It's like, hey, pick a color. I'm like, can I like, can you just say what the color is? This is gonna be a minute. Okay, let's look at the complexion. Is this just for his cheeks? It looks like it. Freckles and moles. Uh, let's do, let's do not do that. I think. I think that one's good right there. There. Ooh, but a scar on marking. I am down for that. I just want a badass scar. Okay, that's a little that's a little much. <laughs> that's a I just want a badass scar. Oh, that one kinda kinda dope, but yeah, it's a little. I think this one's fine. This one's subtle. This is definitely subtle. I can dig it. Ah, oh, there's so much going on. Eyebrow color. Actually, that looks like it matches the it, it matches the scar, or is, is that because the scar goes over the eyebrow? 
Either way, I'm fine with that one. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Let's, uh... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Yeah. It was wonderful. I be That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. Yeah, no. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I don't know about the hair, though. I, I'm sure I can go to Hogsmeade and change the hair. I think they said that, but I think general stuff you can't change. I feel like it's just so generically black. Like, okay, just just stick with the stick with that. I don't know. Bunny food. How much bunny food we eat? <laughs> no, they don't have the corn roll. <laughs> oh god! Oh, this game is wild. Okay. Okay, no, that's, that's... Yeah, I might ride with that one a little bit. <sighs> I like this one better. <laughs> I definitely like this one better. I wish I could color just part of his hair because I don't want the whole, I would prefer to have it be a certain color, but I don't want it to be all black. If like, if I could get like a strip, a strip of, a, of a different color, I would love it. Uh, okay, I think I got him kind of high. Look, I'm a kid in a candy store right now. And it doesn't help. It does. Uh, okay. I think. I think I'm fine just like this. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. Now I got to name them. <laughs> of course, I always have to go with Zephyr. What am I, what am I make his last name? I will say it is definitely, I won't tell you the best day ever because my day was not that great today. This is the highlight of my day, ironically. Like I've been trying to conserve all of my energy and push a lot of negativity out just for this moment because my day has not been great. It has been quite awful. And I'm just like, dude, just like today stinks, but Hogwarts comes out tonight and I just need, I just need it. <laughs> <laughs> so I so I'm like my happiness now is this bottled happiness that I've been trying to maintain to have today but otherwise my day has not been great I have no idea what I want to name what last name I want to give him I really have no idea mmm I don't know what I want to name his last name. Fuck it. <laughs> Sukuna. Make sure I'm spelling that correctly. Yep. <laughs> S-U-K-U-N-A. Yep. Boom. <laughs> I am going to be <laughs> dormitory. The choice to turn me a. <laughs> They're telling me I can be. 
Oh, okay. All right, I got the voice, got the name, I got the difficulty. I think my character is fine for right now. Let the games begin. That took all but 15 minutes. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Yes, please do. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Man, this apparition looks sick. Oh. He just appeared. <laughs> Eliazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely oh, defined destinations so than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. Yes. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh. What's your buddy's name? Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? I'm still waiting to the point yes, where sir. the game gets I'm good enough I'm starting school as a fifth year. Name and it can actually pronounce How extraordinary. Name type in. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. This is funny. This well, like I'm watching you Harry couldn't Potter have asked for a better mentor. No, no, I'm, I don't even Professor like, Fig is not only game, an exceptional like, teacher, right he's now, also a remarkably like intuitive Potter. and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he Man. is a significant a random threat. dragon just floating around. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. <laughs> He's like, you on drugs, dude? What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Yeah, it's glowing. 
Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you wait? We do. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> My man's little sight just got murdered by a dragon. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That okay. stuff will write you in a second. That poor Wigan World Potion. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever okay. touches it to a specific place. This camera is very loose. <laughs> it's very loose. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. That's a hilarious way for this thing to open up. It's on site. Dragon shows up, murders this man. The next thing you know, you're here. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... poor key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. Definitely but not. Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was now meant George to died. lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Talk about a first date. You're doing this. Mind your step. knowing what you're doing. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten like form said, of ancient I magic. I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's like, hey, just follow ancient this. It's magic. Some death defying thing. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. You need to just, uh, seems to have been lost to time. By default. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold it's of that like, ancient uh, magic. Like the like, yeah, I don't know where she came years, into possession of the but he did defeat. <laughs> he did. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Dark of all ah, time. So that's the path down below. This way. This should count as, uh, you, you did <clears throat> But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost like, magic? Yeah, bro, class, so Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful red, magic bro, disappeared from the wizarding world. <laughs> Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. This is like an opposite glass door. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Like a glass. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, so now I get to use a wand. All right. Excellent. 
Alright, use your camera to uh, select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera targeting. Camera relative targeting and settings. Yeah, okay. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Your one works improving with every car. Thank you, sir. As I break everything. I just need to get my own wand. That's what I want. I don't want this. I don't want this raggedy wand. I want the one that's chosen up there. We're close now, it's just ahead. for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Might be worth it being this loose when you actually get into some real combat and other stuff. Let's see. Cross that bridge with me. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room i don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container hmm. what in merlin's name wake the goblin godric's heart where are we I don't believe it. Wow. That escalated. What the hell? Is this the bank? Hello? We're in Gringotts? What the heck happened? 
It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Wow. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? The white sport key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. A private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They, they are most uncommon. Day. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. As they give me out this kid. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. At least the goblins are as grumpy as they are in the books. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years in that time no one has visited vault 12 until today What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! They closed the door. Now they... Best of luck. 
Best of luck. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Revelio. There, I saw something. Huh. That was interesting. Move a bit closer and try again. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. It's Lead the, vault the way. <laughs> it's a vault within a vault. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't this say. Is so crazy. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. The lighting and everything. Just in awe of just how this looks. This just looks incredible. I see something up ahead. What is it? Which kind of makes me want to look at. But on it kind of makes me want to wonder what this looks like on the switch. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. <laughs> so now I get to learn. the wand lighting charm of Lumos, which has automatically been added to the slot. Lumos creates light at the tip of your wand and allows you to see in the dark. Hold R2 and tap triangle to in Lumos! Well done! Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light.
Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I'm scared of the greens. <laughs> like I said, I, I haven't done anything. Uh, that's where they're leading me. That glowing. <laughs> Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. This does not look ominously evil. I feel like something very bad is gonna happen, and I don't know what. It's just, it's just, it's, this isn't a good look. But also talk about like a first day, like okay, hey. At this point, it's like, am I really a fifth year student at this point? I feel like at this point you might as well just you know just go ahead and get yourself a beer and graduate. <laughs> Basin. It's pensive. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Oh, that's a memory. Yeah, that is a uh, ancestor of 
the board. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Hmm. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Mm, okay. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? Yep, there you go. No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a... I have no patience for traitors. Well... Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. He's like, yeah, oh. let's leave. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Yeah, he has some armor on. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Is this the Forbidden Forest? It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
this took us into the forbidden forest. <laughs> the lowest green of the houses. I don't even get to go see all of them. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. I'd be no snitch. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous, black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. <laughs> Fig, nice of you to join us. Simon the Fig. sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <laughs> Simon Fig's <a> dick. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. So why does my robe look so dusty? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. <laughs> Okay, the sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Ravenclaw, known for knowledge, creativity, and wit. You belong in Ravenclaw! The sword in the That's clever how they do that. It's like, okay, it's like, yep, yeah, yeah, Ravenclaw, here we go, but you want to change your mind.
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Insert heat. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Huh? But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. There is. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? Oh, I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Yes, let's see what happens. Okay, cool. Um, alrighty, I am here. Oh, I hate. I might have to cut this a little short. Rebellion. Interesting. Well, I suppose some introductions are in order. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone threw a dumb box. <coughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Uh... Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself and a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Okay. Must 
floating hole. I'm not sure this is the right spot. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Quite not level. I wouldn't really know. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Uh, isn't it having healthy likes of plants? Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Okay, and then... Ah, uh, look at this. Yeah. All right. Deep breath. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. <laughs> well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Hmm, I never one for stargazing. I find the stars fascinating. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, Better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Hey there, it's me Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Alrighty, and then Professor Weasley outside of the common room. Look at this bougie house. Like, come on now. I couldn't resist Can't picking this instead of the dungeons. I couldn't resist it. Oh, I'm going downstairs. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. 
They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Okay. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Alrighty. This way. All these knights, man, over here moving and stuff. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. So do you... I wonder is... I don't know if... I don't know if that's because I, I certainly got would have my appreciated wand picked already, or like do you just skip the wand making I ceremony, or do you, you do that later? Because that's the only thing I haven't done is like go to Ollivander's. Why don't you cast Revelio on Revelio. the bus and see what details the field guide can give you? This bus is busted on its way to Papa Size. You've just unlocked a field challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges here. There is a whizzing level experience challenges increase your power. Each challenge has tiers. Okay. Worse can be claimed from the rewards from the challenge menu. Okay. So like one of two. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. You got too far. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll explore that later. Ah, good timing. Perfect station. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find central. Okay. That's the left side of the map where the students and professors live, including the house common area and the great hall. Access control, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Weird. Blue station of flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower and library. Analysis. Select library and its region. See, that's where some of the glitches stuff is. Professor Woozy unlocked Blue Station for you. Let's see. Oh, okay.
Yeah, I see that's where some of the glue. I'm just like, I'm trying to over here touch this thing and it's and barely moving. And here we moving. are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, Ooh. our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I don't mind living in dormitories. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What exactly is the Defense Against the Dark you mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. <laughs> Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, dragon Professor. Disappeared. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Sweet. Okay, so we'll talk to Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like the line. <laughs> I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, <laughs> why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. You can track available quests in the map. Oh. This mark represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and gain experience. 
Some quests are locked by spells and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to either require a level in or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or as quest rewards. This is gonna be... The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Ah, okay. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. Okay. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. So I, so that's not something you do miss. That's just something you do later on. Okay, that makes sense. Rebellion. What are you up to now? Well. But surely those recurred all. Okay, now I'm just exploring. Oh, this is, looks like where potions class is held. Let's go rob some material, shall we? I need to make a polyjuice potion. Where are the ingredients? Where are they? I'm gonna rob this place blind. Man, no mission. Maybe he is. He's probably the, perfect, the potion professor. This is all right. I mean, oh, yeah, let me get out of here. I'm just breaking stuff. <laughs> I'm just over here causing trouble. Where's the juice? I need the juice. Hey, you're going to find me a bunch of chests. Why not? Level one lock. And that looks like one of the key spots for. Okay. All right, all right, let me just go to class. <laughs> so let me just go to class. Stop being a terrible student. You can't imagine how we can be. Ah, a little bit of loading. Okay. It's so murky and dark out here, dang. Evaporate and stuff. What is appearing? It's so murky out here. Okay, there's a goblin. Oh, that's what they were doing. Okay. Get close to them and they just separate out of here. Level one lock. Right, yep, so I need Aloha Mora, which I unfortunately don't have. Ooh. Fence against the dark arts. Builds our stone up. <laughs> looking around, looking around. I see something. Oh, for when they ask you a question. Rebellion. Crummy little faces. So they, I know they imp they implore that you go to class, but it's like I feel like do they give you the, really the option to skip class? It doesn't look yeah. like it's like okay, you have to go to class for certain main missions and obtain certain spells. But on that same sentiment, it's just like well, oh, that's not one of those. 
boxes which means we have the invisible core okay cool now let's go to defense against dark arts maybe they'll teach me the spell i need which i don't think i can do that creepy man. how nice to see you my young friend Let's do this and see what happens here. Stupid! Stupid! Uh, Duel or double you've got some. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Okay. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Hmm. One thing like I've learned as an unspeakable spell. is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Ready or one, I love how they tell you to do that now. You did two other spells prior to Levioso. that. Levioso. You do two, uh, you learn two other spells at the beginning of the game, but they don't tell you this, and then now they want to tell you now. Oh, now, let's try something a little larger. So now I actually get to use it. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. <laughs> now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. Oh, so you just we'll throw start me with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. This should be Levioso. Good form. I know. This is for Protego. Protego. Do Protego. Let's just say I'm I do. Let me go. 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 Let me the spot. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Is that the opening Again, quest for her? Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. Awesome. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. 
Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my share of wand combat. It was. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. First class student. Oh, okay. First class student. Boss one. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. The charms class was actually like down here. I was upstairs. At this point, I'm just leaving. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Yeah, oh, didn't realize it was the portraits talking. Bathroom. Why am I over here in inspecting every stall like somebody in here? Who's in this bathroom? Get your asses back to class. Professor Flint's classroom. Oh. What are you up to now? Interesting. Why is everything above? Is it like, is it, is it hidden? Like what's going on? Let me use Rebellion. Oh, well, there's a note here. Oh. So this is Fig's office. There he is. And that looks like one of the statues I'm gonna need later. Why does music get all ominous? Get out of here. Okay. Now 
how this map doesn't make any sense. I've always said the travel <laughs> It's like now this map doesn't make well okay, I guess it does. It's just Professor Rowley really tends to go way. on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. And then the werewolves joined the goblins Goblin in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? And by the, end of it, the minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what hmm. fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, oh, and he oh, says sorry. it's a flat. Okay. Peeves, oh, sorry, enough. Right you'll get us all detention. I don't get the nature of this puzzle. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Yeah, this puzzle doesn't make any sense. Maybe they'll explain it more when I do something else. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Okay, that I doesn't make any sense. So maybe before. once I do more, it'll probably I go into more detail of what that puzzle actually means. Here, behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Not good. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? No. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Okay. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. So I guess it's time to react. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! And now I'm actually gonna learn how to actually use that spell for real. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so! What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> hmm. 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, okay, cast Accio, Accio on one of the spheres the and horse, relinquish your charm at the target. last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But Accio. instead of throwing the marbles out, excellent happens to the best of us. That's it! Stay focused! Very good! Don't lose your composure! Okay. Very good! Points to Ravenclaw! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Okay, Miss cool. Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right. What's this? That is how it's done. Okay, so she got 30. <laughs> Akio. Happens to the best of us. Let us see this. Oh, so she's gonna flex on me like that. That's just disrespectful. Phew. Can I try that again? Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Okay. Here we go. That is how it's done. Akio. Control there. Let us see this. You see, I feel disrespected because of the fact that, like, hers moves so slow and yours moves so fast. Okay, I didn't know that. I'm sitting there letting go of square, so letting go of the actual other button. Very good, both of you. Well done. Yeah, had I known that, I would have been letting go of the trigger a while ago. And that bad was just rolling. It's like I said, press square again. I'm like, well, but that's what I'm doing. Class I'm is failing. dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. 
Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before Wagadu. we put here. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world I was at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Hmm. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It is. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Okay. Of course, you can use a, a word, a word if you would. If you're so You important. wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. Mm. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Yes, she's homesick. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Mm -hmm. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Alrighty. Charm class. And thus I've leveled up. Or on the verge of leveling up. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Talk to Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's kind of you to say. It wasn't too challenging a lesson. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Okay. Open the quest log. Weasley after class. This requires me level two, which I already am. But let's do some dueling. Side missions are now available. Let's do let's do a little bit of dueling, shall we? Let's go beat up some let's go beat up some students and then uh, hopefully not get wrecked. Which would be hilarious and disrespectful. Just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna beat up the I'm gonna beat these students up and they see you know I have to get wrecked. Like, okay, well never mind. So I guess I bit off a little bit too more than I could chew. Excuse me. Here 
He tried to stop me, did rancorous cop. Sought to trap me, confine me inside the jobs. But he failed us, did his containment jobs. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed. Or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him. That if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! I'll get you for this. I was like, I hear him. Well, like, where the heck is Peeves at? Oops! Did Peeves make you jump? <laughs> and Peeves out here being a menace. Alright. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Spanked him. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end wins. Easy it's enough. our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, <laughs> in cross ones, you can duel with duel a partner if you like. Your you first time him. I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So. Care to step into the ring? Sure, why not? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Well. I break through the yellow shield with control spell, like levitate, and I'm trying to target the Let me Protego, stupid. It's also there goes my way, stupid boy. Lumos. wasn't wrong about you there's strong competition ahead but keep this up and you could be the next school champion brilliant count me in i shall now it takes time to organize these duels but check with me later i may have something lined up for you again congratulations on your first crossed ones victory well fought hmm. hope to see you back here again sweet Excuse me. Okay. before I just decide to up and explore the castle all day every day. Did 
I still need to get a wand. How nice to see you, my young friend. Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? I want I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be a mending charm reparo, which is re uh, required to complete the quest. You can track the assignments in their progress in the main. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, okay, that mission is locked. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks <laughs> to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay. Rebellion. <sighs> All right, complete the flying pages near the broken statue. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Ah! 
Let me also. <laughs> like a fine page in it. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, I know what I gotta do. Um, I gotta do Akio. Akio! Got it. I'm just like, I'm an idiot. Just <laughs> A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I see leveling up isn't that big of a deal. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized hard repair. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and flashed out. Go take a walk or run. Revelio. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. I'm glad I don't have to stay in the castle for a holiday. Hello, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. <laughs> Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks she I'm utterly so balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, oh, and I do, oh, an God, empty God, frame God, doesn't God. appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Downside of late night streaming. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay, like a monster. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. There's another one over here. Oh, I guess I'll just go interact with this thing. All of my siblings have finished at Hogwarts. Rebellion. Repair it. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Huh. It is nearby. Right here. Accio! This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Rebellion! Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Have you ever visited any of the patterns outside? Repair. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Collect pages in Hogwarts. Sweet. That was simple. She's right here. Oh. 
<laughs> like that was such a simple remedial like side quest. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide him off back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone Ooh, figured it out. All right, guys. The moth. I should have seen that. Like I got something. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm getting really tired. I'm drained. I, uh, excuse me. Between work, lack of sleep today, and then working out, I'm getting a bit tired. So, thank you guys for watching. I know it was late, um, but uh, I don't. I don't know if I'll be back on tomorrow or Wednesday. Might probably Wednesday more than likely. We'll see how the days go, but uh, be on the lookout for more videos on the YouTube channel and then be on the lookout on more on the Twitch channel. So for those that are new, please hit the follow and subscribe button if you want to see more. And until next time, 